Hey guys, this is Cameron with Motion Science, and I am back this week with another killer 3D camera After Effects tip for you. Someone recently asked me how I would go about making an isometric view setup in After Effects in the 3D workspace. So this is what I would do. So you can see here in my timeline, I've got a 3D box, which is just a pre-comp with a bunch of layers that form a box. And the 3D box is parented to the box controller. And if I rotate the box, it's also semi-transparent, so you can see this is a box. Okay, so how do we make this an isometric camera view, which has been a very popular technique for several years now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new camera. I'm also gonna make this camera 50 millimeter. I found that if I change it to 35 or 28 or 80, it changes the perspective of what we currently see. But 50 sticks with the current perspective. Um, I've also enabled I've disabled depth of field. You wanna go ahead and turn that off. Click okay. And at this point, everything still looks the same. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into my camera options. I hit AA on the keyboard very quickly to open up the camera options. Under zoom, I'm gonna change this to 10,000. So now we're super zoomed in on this box. But under position, I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna change it to negative 10,000. So I'm back out here. So I think I wanna be a little bit further out in my scene. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and change the position to negative 20,000. So it looks pretty good. I'm also gonna go ahead and create a new null. I'm gonna make that null 3D. I'm gonna parent my camera to that null. And here's where the magic happens. Under rotation of the null, I'm gonna change the orientation to 45, 35, 30. And if I zoom out on my comp window, that looks like an isometric view. And we have it. So let me, uh, to show this a little better, let me create another new solid. And I'm gonna call this floor. Going to make the floor 3D and bring it to the bottom of my layer stack. And there you can see the true isometric angle. I'm gonna move the position down on the Z. I've got some lights in this scene, which is why you're seeing the specular there. So yeah, there you go, there's an isometric view. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just duplicate the box layer and I'll move the position on the X, then on the Y, and just to show you, here's the Z again. But uh, then I'll duplicate that one and I'll say move it here. And maybe on the X, I'll move it down here. There you go. There's the simple solution to creating a 3D isometric view inside of After Effects with a camera and a null object. So hey, if you learned something new, please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think. Until next time, I'm Cameron, and this is Motion Science.